Hello everyone and welcome to the Let Them Eat Pie quest guide. This is the first quest guide on my channel and this is the first quest uh, that I'm doing on my account that I just created, RS Platypus. So, in order to do this, you're going to be in Taverly. I'm still at the part of the Troll Attack mini quest where I still have the blinking arrow that's going to tell me how to do everything because it's part of the tutorial. But if you're doing this from a regular account, you're just going to want to show up at this guy next to the Taverly um, uh, portal talk to Niles Newton and start the quest let them eat pie for this it says you have required items however all of them can get gathered during the quest uh, so as for combat none and for this quest you're basically going to be making a disgusting pie which you're going to give to a big fat guy and you're going to poison him but not really poison him just make him food poisoned so start off keep talking to Niles go through all the chat options and he's going to tell you what you need to do and for your first part, you're going to be making wheat and mixing it with, um, actually it's more like flour, and you're going to mix it with some fishing bait to make it like moldy flour. So you can follow the yellow dots. If you don't have the yellow dots, that means you're probably doing this from a regular account, but you're just going to want it all the way southwest. No, actually southeast. So run southeast, and there's this dead troll on the ground and surrounding him will be fishing bait you have to look around uh, and then you'll see these little white specks click on it and you'll get the fishing bait now run south into the field and pick some wheat you only need uh, one piece of wheat for this to work so just pick one and uh, next you can run over to the uh, mill which is north of that Cross the bridge into the the building with the white circle with the yellow cross in between. Climb up the stairs. And just pay attention because this actually method of using this hopper and creating wheat is used in a like starting quest in the game. So uh, it would be used get used to this kind of thing. Um, I believe the hopper is used in actually a couple quests. Even when you get to like higher up quests, it becomes important. So you put all the ingredients into thing and run down collect your flour from the bin you fill a pot with disgusted shredded maggots and stuff like that so you manage to get maggots within a couple minutes which isn't realistic but so run north talk to Niles again here's the flour you wanted that's perfect he's gonna turn it into a pie crust a disgusting pie crust So here's your pie shell. Make sure you want to run north. Up into the fishing spot. And if you already have a crayfish, uh, that, then you save some time. But we're just going to go up here, fish from the little pond area, and you'll get yourself a crayfish. Now you have a crayfish. Run over into the flax farm. And you'll get greeted with this little cutscene where you put the crayfish underneath the ground. Some time passes. You dig up the crayfish, and you have a disgusting crayfish. And then go back to Niles, he'll be in the middle part. Talk to him, let him know that you have the manky crayfish. The last thing you're going to need is potato. Now, if you're doing this from the mini quest, you already planted potato previously in this um, tutorial. However, if you are doing this from, like, you've already had the account and you never did this tutorial, uh, the farmer actually has potatoes. I think you either pay, like, two cents for it or it's, it's fairly cheap. But we already have a potato patch, so pick your potato. Now run a little bit west up into this little icy area. And in the back you'll find a kebbit hole, so use your potato on the kebbit hole. And you get a disgusting potato. So now mix everything together. First use the crayfish on the pie crust. And then it used the potato too, so you made a disgusting pie. Now you're going to run down to the 
building next to Niles where there will be a range and you can cook the disgusting pie. Oh, misclicked. So I come back in here, use cook at the oven. Just you have to use the pie on the oven. You'll cook it. And I go back and talk to Niles. Check out my awesome cooking skills and the pie that I created. Alright, you're going to want to spice up the pie. In order to do that, you're going to want to run south and talk to Pompous Pierre. You're actually going to want to pickpocket him. Or Foolish Pierre. So pickpocket Foolish Pierre. He'll take his spices. Now use the expensive spices on the terrible pie. And you get a better pie that, I don't, I don't know, doesn't smell as bad. up the stairs, and here's Rolo the Stout. He's going to be the one you're food poisoning, so you can open that chest next to him. He's going to tell you that it's not the pie he asked for, and what pie is it? I think you can pick any option, however, the, the times that I've done this, the best option to go with is the Kebet pie at the bottom, so that the last option, so Pompeii de Kebet pie. Now he's gotten sick. If you click, I think I found enough from here. It still gives you the details. Now that he's been sickened, you can go back up the stairs. And click on the chest. You steal something from the chest. His royal stamp. Talk to Niles. Give the seal. You stamp a letter. Now you're going to want to give this letter to Foolish Pierre. Who's south. For everyone that's uh, doing this during the tutorial, I'm sorry if this isn't that interesting of a guide because you're given the yellow blinking arrow, so all you have to do is follow that and it basically does the quest for you. However, this yellow blinking arrow does not come with every quest, so you might as well get used to not using it um, because it's only in the tutorial. Start to Niles. You've now opened up all the shops. Let's celebrate and congratulations, we completed our first quest, we received 1 quest point, 100 cooking XP, 150 thieving XP, um, 5 meat pies, 2 spiels on the Wheel of Fortune. So now that we have uh, the Wheel of Fortune, you can click Spin on the Wheel of Fortune. Click Spin now. And I don't know why, I actually have 3 spins. We'll end on a medium, so 10 dragon hide. I just like showing the spins in case I get something rare. Which, I don't know, I got something rare during the tutorial, I believe. 1000 GP. Was this it? Yeah, this is the one I got rare. So, spin. And, I got the Soul Chef Smith, which will increase cooking. So, I think if you already started the tutorial, I would have got 50k if I converted it to coins. 
But that pretty much wraps up the first quest guide on this channel. If you're doing the troll attack tutorial or how to create an account tutorial, I will find links at the end of the video. But other than that, my name is Brian. Thank you all for watching and have a nice day.